It's been nearly two years since the incident, since the moment Myers Leonard shouted the epithet, an ugly anti-Semitic slur. Now, as he prepares to return to the NBA, Leonard is ready to talk about what he has learned in the aftermath. What did you think were going to be the long-term ramifications? Jeremy, to be totally honest with you, I was sad that I was losing my job. I was sad that I hurt people. And frankly, all I cared about in my life, outside of taking care of my family, but honestly, it's like 1A and 1B, was going to make this right. The pandemic shortened 2019 20 NBA season was Myers Leonard's first with the Miami Heat after seven years in Portland. For the first time in his career, the seven foot one center was starting every night. In the finals that October against the Lakers, in the bubble, Leonard started games two and three. Leonard, three pointer. Leonard's got good three point range. The following month, Leonard signed a two-year, $20 million contract with the Heat. But when the 2020-21 season got underway, he played only three games before suffering a shoulder injury that would require surgery. His season over, Leonard was spending much of his time playing video games. Gaming was always fun. It was a way to communicate with friends, but it was also a way to communicate with fans through Twitch. On March 8, 2021, Leonard was at home, doing what he did so often, playing Call of Duty on his Twitch channel. Maybe a few hundred people were watching. Then, in a heated moment in the game. Let's go, baby. Cowards don't snipe me, you To no one in particular, Leonard had uttered an anti-Semitic slur. The anti-Semitic slur. Did you know what the word means where it, anything about its history absolutely not there are absolutely no excuses for what happened that day and ignorance sadly is a very real thing and that's what i was i'm not running from this but i did not know that it happened where do you think you picked up the word i have obviously had a very long time to think about this i believe that over the years there's less than ideal uh, language used in a large portion of video gaming. So you had no idea that this word is a derogatory term for Jewish people? No, absolutely not. It wasn't until March 9th, the day after Leonard had used the slur, that the incident went viral, which Leonard learned live on Twitch. Yo, my wife needs me. She just called me. I'll, uh, I gotta roll, brother. GG's. Okay. Leonard issued an apology on Instagram. He was suspended by the NBA for a week and fined $50,000. The week following the incident, the Heat traded Leonard to the Thunder. The week after that, the Thunder released him. In an instant, Leonard had become a pariah. And on social media, he was being pilloried. What is going through your mind? that I felt like I had just destroyed my life and everything that I worked for, to be honest. People had every right to, I suppose, make assumptions about me. People were going to have to in the media comment on this, and I understand, I do. I said, you better go handle this and to show people what's in your heart, but I thought that it'd be easier to be dead than it would be to deal with what had just happened because I want everyone to like me. I don't hate anybody. I would never intentionally hurt anybody. Two days after the incident, the day after it went viral, Leonard sought guidance from a friend of a friend, a rabbi in South Florida who runs a Chabad, a center for Jewish learning. He said, look, Mars, I think this would be easier if, if we did this in person. I said, okay, when? He said, tomorrow at 8 a.m. at my Chabad? I said, I'd love it. Mind you, I had never been to a synagogue. I had never been to a Chabad before. 
And he asked me to explain everything that happened again and do it in and person. This is less than 48 hours after this has become a big story. Yeah. I'm just pouring tears, trying to hold him back, but I just can't. And he stops me and he says, Myers, I need to tell you something. I said, okay. He said, you're a good man with a good soul. I promise you I will help you through this. This happened for you, not to you. You'll understand eventually. Since that first visit to a Chabad, Leonard has made deep contacts in the Jewish community, meeting frequently with Jewish organizations, educating himself about the history of anti-Semitism. This is a piece of your life, and now it's informing your life going forward. You've become a friend, an advocate, and that same large platform which drew all the negativity is the same large platform that you're using to spread light and do good things. I made a big mistake. Uh, I think most of you in the crowd probably know what happened, but the thing that I'm most thankful for is how much grace and forgiveness I've been shown by the Jewish community. You haven't played since January 9th, 2021. What's it gonna be like to be back on the court if you get that chance? It'll be a big mix of emotions. Admittedly, I'll be a little scared of what someone might say to me, what a fan might say. But I always come back to this, don't give up. If you're a good person and you work hard, things are gonna work out in life. And I wholeheartedly believe that.